What's up guys, Rich here with You Can Play Guitar 2, bringing you Van Morrison, Brown Eyed Girl. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna kick this off with is the intro. Uh, uh, I'm gonna teach you the rest of the song on my acoustic. It's an acoustic song, but it's not a cutaway, so I can't get to the, you know, the 15th fret and 17th fret uh, like you need to uh, for this. So uh, I have to play it on my electric. So either way, uh, as long as you know how to play at the end of this lesson, that's all that matters. Who cares where I'm playing it from? So uh, I'm gonna play it for you and then we will take it from there. So that's the intro for Brown Eyed Girl, guys. So what we're playing, we're playing the E string and the B string this entire time, okay? Uh, at no point, your, your E string is always gonna be one fret in front of the B string, okay? At all times, okay? And you're never gonna be more than two frets away from each other. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our B string uh, on the fifth, on the B string on the eighth fret, okay? So if the B string is on the A fret, your E string is always going to be on on the, the fret in front of it. So seventh fret. So I'm going to call. I'm going to teach you in terms of the B string. So I'm going to basically you know, say uh, B string eighth fret, tenth fret, and twelfth fret, and you're going to know that the E string is right behind behind it. Okay. Um, so eighth fret on the B string, tenth fret B string. So what you're going to do is you're going to just slide it up to the 10th fret of the B string, okay? So you're, you're hitting your, it's a double stop this entire intro. So B and E string the entire time, okay? That means that you're ninth fret, you're on the ninth fret of the E string here. So slide up, and you're not gonna pick it when you get there. You're gonna go directly to the, tw uh, the 11th and 12th fret, and then back to 10th and 9th, and 8th, and 7th, so. Okay, then you're gonna to go to 11th and pick that. Uh, 11th fret B and 8th, 10th fret E. Okay, so you, you pick that and you go straight up to the 15th fret and 14th fret and then 17th fret. Okay, then 17th fret and 16th fret. Back to 15th and 14th fret to 13th and 12th fret. So that part's gonna sound like this. So all together. Okay, not in time. Okay? And then from there, you go back to 8th fret and you do exactly what you did in the beginning. Okay, so 8th to 10th to 12th to 10th to 8th, okay? That, that's what ends it. And then you go into this little B string, or D string, D string, and G string. So D, G, and B. Which is just like your A chord, right? So just like this, same thing. Except I'm only hitting those three notes. So A, B, C. So you hit a D chord right here. You strum it once. And then what I do is I just pick the G string, string twice. And then I put my first finger and my second finger on the B string of the eighth fret, and my second, my third finger on the G string of the ninth fret, and I sl and I and I slide it. So I slide up to the eleventh and the tenth fret to end it, and then that goes. Okay, it goes directly into your first verse, okay? So. And that's your intro, guys. All right, so let's get going on to this verse. Oh, before I do, I gotta show you this. So she is my wife, but it's guitar humor. I mean, I, I've never seen a shirt with guitar humor on it. Nobody gets this unless you play guitar. 
So if you don't know the D chord, you're about to learn it because it's in the song. <laughs> but uh, she is obviously my wife and I'm married. And ladies, I apologize if this offends you, but it's still, it's hilarious. I had to get it. I had to get it. And I'm married, so I'm not a chauvinistic pig. Uh, I chose the woman I love and I'm with her for the rest of my life. But it's still hilarious. And this is classic. Classic. All right, let's get on this one. All right, guys, so that was the intro. All right, so now I'm going to show you the, uh, the verses, the bridge and the choruses uh and then how they all fall into place here so the um the chords that we need to know here are a g all right so you got your pinky on the on the e and b string of the third fret and then e string third fret a string second fret all right then do a c so you got third fret a string second fret d string first fret b string don't hit the e string here all right then we have a d which is G string second fret, E string second fret, and then third fret B string, uh, B string, of the third fret, uh, and then you hit from the D string down. All right, no A string, no E string. Okay, um, and then we have. Um, is that it? I think that might be it. Wow, yeah, that's pretty simple stuff, huh? Oh, E minor, E minor. So second fret A string, second fret D string, and hit all six strings. Okay. So our chorus, our, our, I'm sorry, our verse uh, is going to be four set, four chords, and you're going to play, play the sequence of chords four times, okay? So we uh, start with the G, and the strum pattern here. So the strum pattern is down, down, up, up, down. Uh, but the beautiful thing about this song is each song is a bar, so you, for beginners, can just do down strum. So. It sounds wonderful. It sounds perfect. You can you know exactly what you're listening to. So that's that's the beauty. Of, uh, one of the beauties about this song uh, is you can do down strum or you know do something fancy and it sounds uh, just as nice either way. All right, so we're going from a G to start this thing off. So one bar G to a C to a G to a D. Okay, and you do that sequence of chords four times for uh, each verse. You also do that sequence of chords for the chorus. Uh, now the chorus is the sha la 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 part. Um, the part where he says, and you're my brown eyed girl, that's the bridge. So after the fourth time doing this, the D, okay, it goes into the, uh, the, the, goes into the bridge. And the bridge chords are C, to a D, to a G, to an E minor, okay, to a C, to a D, to a G, okay, that's, that's the first chord, or that's the first bridge. Uh, now what I suggest is I pop the chords up uh, beginning of each section and then it says intro or says whatever verse chorus and then I list the, the chords there you should write those chords down if you know how to play them and you know that they're a bar each and you know the strum pattern just write it down as I talk um, that's usually how I learn songs myself so uh, that's my suggestion to you guys all right so that's the bridge going into uh, the course but here's the thing so that right there is the bridge that's how you play it now, after the first bridge, it doesn't go into the chorus. A bridge is usually bridge the gaps between a verse and a chorus, but he goes directly into verse two after the first bridge. So verse one, bridge, verse two, okay? Then he plays the chords I already showed you, okay? Then he goes into the bridge again. Now, the only difference is after the bridge, he's going into the chorus the second time and the third time. So this time, he just ends with three bars of D. Uh, and I typically don't do the down, down, up, up, down. It's a build up. It's leading you into the sha la 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 that part, which is the chorus. So I will just do down strums, heavy down strums for the D chord. So the bridge, uh, the second bridge is, so like I said, the, the verse and the chorus chords are exactly the same. And the bridge, the only difference is you have the C, D, G, which I showed you, to the E minor, C, D, G, 
which is what I showed you, and then he goes into this, this, the second time playing the bridge. Plays a total of 12 times, okay? So it's three bars, four, four, and four. Four, right, 12. All right, I can, I can add. Yes, I can. And then that goes into your first chorus, okay? And then your first chorus is just G, C, G, D. And then he just continues that and that goes into the, to the, the third verse, okay? Um, so that's basically it, guys. Um, the only little thing is you have that... Uh, So the way you play that is, you, so you go third fret e, e string to fifth fret E string, hit the fifth fret E string twice, back to third fret E string to second fret E string, open E, B, B, and G. Okay, so. It sounds sounds better when you play it twice on that third fret. Or either way, uh, it sounds good. So that's that little uh, little riff he plays in there. All right. Um, so basically, the line is you got verse one, okay. Then you have bridge one, okay. Then you got uh, verse two. Then you got bridge two. Okay, then you have chorus one. It's basically how, how it lines up. And that goes into verse three, all right? And then you have like some little bass line in there somewhere where there's no guitar. Uh, then basically verse three will go into bridge three and then chorus three to end it, all right? So just the, the chorus is just one set of those chords, okay? So it's just one set of G, C, G, and D. And that's your basically your whole song, guys. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Brown Eyed Girl by Van Morrison. Uh, probably the most uh, sought after song to play on guitar. Uh, this is a favorite of many. Uh, but please subscribe, guys. I appreciate the support. Uh, new videos every, every Wednesday, every Sunday. Thanks, guys.